Hello, you're right. Yes, I have got five two kilo bags of jewelry. This is just come from Bernardo's. I just buy some every so often. Not so much for the stock, just for the fun of the rummage, really. You know what I'm like. It's not like I even need stock or anything. I just like a good rummage. Um, where's my scissors gone? I'll be back now. Here they are. Because you just never know. I don't expect to find anything amazing in the bags from, from this place, but sometimes you can be pleasantly surprised. So as you know, I do different lots of stuff. So I'll do pearly lots, vintage lots, um, and then my regular two kilo lots. That's just gonna stay attached to that. So I'll start off a two kilo lot now. I'm putting these earrings. I've got a little tanglement of stuff that I'll come back to there. Oh, what's that made of? I wonder if that's like bamboo or something. That's bizarre. I'll keep that for vintage lot because it's quite an oddity. Oh, and what's this? Little pin. Oh, that's cute, bro. It's a little suitcase. I like that. I will sell that one. There you go, something for me to sell already from this bag. That's good. I think it's like 14, 15 pound a bag plus post. So realistically, looking for two or three things for me to sell in each bag to break even, really. That's what, what I hope to find and sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Little bee -de -bee -de -bee. And then there's awful things like that, which I will put in a craft a lot. So I've got them starting here, because they can disassemble it and do what they want. I think that's quite worn. That's a big chunky one, isn't it? That can be in two kilos. That also is a big chunky one, but that'll go in two kilos. Because I like putting stuff in the two kilo lots that people can sell on if they want as well. Or keep views, you know. Um, these little ones with like uh, religious images in, I'll put into my little religious lots that I do. Oh, that's cute. It's got some little pearls on there. That'll go in there. A sparkly stretcher stretcher that's seen better days and his stuff some little dress up beads that's quite a bobby dazzler look at that but that'll go in two kilos lots of actually that feels like the same material as that bangle so i'll keep them together just in case that's a pretty thing, but it's uh, it's missing a clasp, so I'll put that in craft a lot. Is these what they like? Mickey Mouse head, um, and of course, there's a nail, a nail pendant, so I'll put him in a pendant slot. Got a vintage, quite nice, sparkly brooch, quite like that. That's something that I'd sell. So I've got two nice brooches to sell from this lot so far. That looks a bit like silver because it's tarnished. Yep, it's got 925 on the clasp there. There we go. So we've got a little first little bit of silver with I don't think they're turquoise, I think they're like marbled and look like turquoise. Um yeah. I'm not sure if I like the beads because they're on these long things, but the chain underneath is quite nice. But there we go. So I'll keep a little pile over there. The vintage rhinestone bit. That's quite nice with the red. I'll probably put that in vintage lot. The little Madison & Co earrings. 
Who are they? Is that Matalan? I'm not quite sure. Oh, an awful hair grip thing, but it's got beads on it so it can be used for crafting, but not something that I particularly want to deal with. Just a random length of chain. Don't think it's anything. Just, nope. Magnet. <laughs> a domino. Domino. Is there anything in here? Just little charmy things. Mm, don't think there's anything I particularly want to rescue from this bunch. That's kind of cute with the little plastic butterflies, but they're all going in there. Two kilos. It's funny, they come in as two kilos. And most of them go out in a two kilo bag. And somewhere in between, I might find three or four things for myself. Leather straps and stuff can go in there. That's quite that stretched. That's seen better days, but it's got nice beads. What's this? Love KS Design. Here we go, another one of them clampers. That's quite that stretched. What's that? A choker? It looks like a choker. Some stretches. Is that a magnetic clasp? Yes, it is. Hmm. There we go, it's like a mesh one going in there. Got a little pin. Is that a Macmillan one, I think? So that I'll keep for the, the pins. That I send to a Mr. Green every so often because he likes his badges. That'll go into a rings lot. That's a bit crazy though with the eagle. You, oh dear. I can just go straight in there, I think. I'm not sure about you. End up with that. Whatever. That's um, a bit dirty. Nope. Sparkly, but outstretched. Broken. That's unusual, isn't it? That's a bit weird. I'll put these into the two kilo lots because you go a bit of abalone weirdness going in. Like if I was, you know, feeling a bit tight, I might save them to sell myself, but nah, stick them in two kilos. Churn and burn, baby, churn and burn. Oh, that's a cute little earring coming up. And blue crescent moon so let's hope that he's got a friend somewhere in here that would be nice We've got a vintage double-sided necklace doesn't say who buy so that'll probably go in vintage lot is that a little what are you what's going on here I just like the, that nice colour red, that's quite smart, but that can go away. You look broken, or are you? Yes, missing rhinestones from there, so it goes in there. Right, I've got some ugh, bit of lacy thing going on here, not sure about that. Let's try and get things out, shall we? A little sparkly choker, and a stretchy stretch. Is there anything I want to save before I just shove the whole lot in? So I'm checking for obviously makers and hallmarks. So checking the clasps and stuff. Ah, he's cute, but he's missing a rhinestone. That's a shame. Hello, mother. Hello. If you can go in there. I'm going to stop this a second while mum's back and I help her with the shopping. <laughs> I 
chopping pad away and back. I also used that time to detangle that little mess of stuff. Um, most of it went in there. There was this, which I remember having like one of these back in the 90s. Wee hey, so I'll probably sell that one. Um, a silver chain, but it's got two ends to it. See, two, so I need to fix that. And then these two little sparkly bits, but they're gonna go into the vintage lot. So, the next bag. And that's gonna be obviously nearly two kilos soon. Right, let's just grab a bunch of things to go in there. Some nice groovy bracelets to go in, but not for me. Oh, this looks like a whole bag of bangles. Fan. Yep, it's a whole bag of bangles. Let's see what I can do. Not the most exciting of things. But there we are. Right, that can go in pearl a lot. Oh, dear God. Um, an earring. I'll just see if there is anything decent and I'll try and split them up. Oh, what are you? You look like a very bright, very bright, very bright. I might test you just in case. Kitty bits. This is the kind of thing where I think like, oh, I'm just going to shove it all in the craft lot. Someone might like that though. I'll put that in the two kilos. Um, that looks alright. That can go in. Put that in vintage lot. Though I might sell that because it's a bit folk arty. So yeah, that's a sell bit. And I've got a vintage ring. Don't think it's silver, but that might go in vintage lot. And earrings, oh, like body piercing earrings. You can look like you've been body pierced. Ah, that would have been quite nice. A little bracelet, but it's unfortunately broken. I don't think it's a precious metal. So that goes in there. Rubbery ones can go in there. That's vintage alox or steel, but it's broken chain. That's quite nice. I don't think it's bakelite or anything. We'll keep it aside to test, just because it's a bit of a weird one. All these little weird kiddie ones can go away. Pills for pills, lot. And I'll put ones like this in the big pearly lot as well because they're pearlescent, you know, chunky, a little unusual one there, that's dirty. Oh, that looks like a bit of silver, very tarnished, extremely tarnished, but yeah, I think that's some... Silver filigree, so I'll keep that aside. It's a nice bit of inlay there. And that's an upper arm bangle. And it looks tarnished on the inside. It might be silver plated, possibly. Another folky bangle, keep that aside. A random pendant. Okay, I don't want to put any more bangles in that lot. The overkill, really. that's very tarnished chain there. That can go in. Um, that seems okay. And then it's attached to a floral necklace, so I won't separate them. That's nice. Handmade. But they've obviously used some nice beads and crystals and stuff. 
that's quite pretty. I'll put that in the two kilos. We've got a friendship, share memories, laughter, love, friends. Ugh. No friend would ever give me that, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, that looks like a dis bit of display thing. A cuff link. Earrings. Um, I collect these together as well for, um, you know, European charm lots. So I'll keep that aside there. That's a bit of sterling silver. That's quite a groovy earring. Let's hope he's brought a friend, but, you know... Oh, that's, that looks like it's seen better days too, if I can go in there. Nice rose gold bangle, like geometric shapes on, but that can go in because that's all right. An earring, I'm creaking, aren't I? Ring for ring slot, some more rings here. No marks on them, I was hoping that might be a Swarovski or something. That's kind of groovy though. I might sell that just because it's a bit of an odd one, maybe. No, probably not, actually. <laughs> just won't get round to it. Signed, Sarah Coventry, I think it says. Or maybe not. Um, that's quite a nice earring, though. Look at that. I like that. I hope he's brought a friend. Please bring a friend. Some nice clamper bangle. Actually, that can go in there. Let's, let's see how much we've got for this lot. I'm trying not to put in, you know, fish bangles. I mean, these are not so great, but... And some Russian type ones, you know, where they like roll over each other. Just checking to see if they're silver, but I don't think they are. I can't see any marks and it's not tarnishing right. Can go in. Got a big necklace to go in. One of those solid ones. A, a watch strap. Is it just a strap? Is it leather? No, that can go into crafty bit. Ribbons. Very tarnished. Lots of bracelets, bracelets. Oh, quite nice beads there with the tassel on. That's um like a prayer thingy, isn't it? Put that in the vintage lot. Faux pearls, the faux pearly lot. Little vintage brooch. Quite nice, looks like it's got all of its marker seat, so I'll probably sell that. Pendant, right, clip-ons. Some plastic vintage beads, but they go in vintage lot. That looks nice, what's that? Oh, that's a shame. That's got some lovely beads on it, but um, these are all glass, but it's really, like that's gonna snap any second. So that'll go in craft a lot. I'll put this big chunky necklace in the two kilos. That's something they can sell, that's quite groovy. I say sell, not everyone that buys these bags wants to buy them to sell them on, do they? Some of them are buying them just for themselves. What's that Cotswold collection? That looks like a buckle, doesn't it? It needs a couple more things in there that's not weird shape thing. Right. What about this? So that's got, oh, it's sterling silver. Oh, that's nice. Sterling silver with a bit of abalone. Lovely. Nice chain on that one. Half as yam. And what's this little dot dash chain? Nope. It can have a pendant on it though, can't it? 
There we go. And that's that can go in there. And what's these little leaf things? Or is that just what is this? What is it? Is that like a headband or something? Oh no, it is a necklace. Oh, it hangs down like that. I see. Okay. Well, that can go in there. And then, oh, it's nearly two kilos. Um, earring broken. How about a little sparkly Mikey? Oh no, it's missing rhinestones. Sorry, that can go in there. There we go. Two kilos. So this afternoon I shall update the listing for that. I am on sold out at the moment, but obviously update. But new two kilo bag. Not having that in it. A new pair. Yes. A pair of earrings going in that. Grace. No. Come on. Bit of ribbon. All of that can go in broken. <clears throat> Little pink sparkly ones. Oh, that's cute, like a little gingerbread man. But he's going to kilos. Those are some nice beads. They're probably garnets, them. But that's very messed up. That's a shame. And some of them are chipped, so I'll put them in craft because someone might be able to to have fun with them. That's a weird one. It's top shop. Got some cool bits in it. Earring, bangles. That's missing bits. That's a shame. That's quite a nice little bangle. So I'm going to put these bangles in here now. Actually, no, some of them I'm going to put into craft because I don't think they're. All that. Those ones are alright. Okay, cool. Let's stop the creaking. That's better. Next bag. If this is bangles, there are some bangles. There's some necklaces in here as well, so that's good. That's rather groovy. Are you gonna let go? Let's put some big chunkly necklaces in that lot. Obviously pearls from a pearly lot when I can get them out. Some more chunky ones, outstretched, goes in broken. Oof, look at that. These are some unusual, almost like crackly. They look like cracker bars, but they're plastic. So that can go in there. Like a vintage sparkly necklace coming out here, hopefully. Some pretty rhinestones. That's quite nice. I'll probably sell that one. I quite like that. With a pack of bangles. <laughs> Big squidgy heart thing. That's kind of groovy. In there. Sometimes I sell stuff with hearts in it. It can sell, but you know, like I said I'm not really looking for stock in this one. <laughs> Lol surprise. Little vintage scarf ring that'll go in a vintage lot. Oh, a pretty little sparkly butterfly. You can see some hairs in here, which is just lovely. Bright yellow, really nice to see. 
So it's got some different colour enamel chains. That's quite acceptable. And a bright yellow, possibly gold plated chain. I'll sell that one though. It's a modern one, but I do all right on just plain old, you know, modern chains. Right, this is a whole heap of stuff. So they look like some multi-chains in here, which is causing a bit of fun. So that one's broken and that one's tarnished, so I'm just going to check them straight in there. That's a nice little pendant, if I can get that out. Nope. Little copper and brass bangle. Again, I'll keep some bangles aside because I think that one's got enough in there now. Let's cut these tags off. Oh. So that's unusual. I think it might be like a resin. Or something bizarre. Weird. I'll keep that aside. Just probably end up in a vintage shop, but it's unusual. So I'll take a second look at that at some point. Nice pink glass things. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's really pretty, isn't it? Look at that. I would have thought that would be Swarovski crystal, but I can't see any. It's not swan signed. But pretty, but I'll go in two kilos because you know me. Uh, some sparklies and some pink beads going in there. Plastic vintage beads can go in vintage lot. Oh, you're a bugger, aren't you? You've got things wrapped all around you. I'm not sure about that. Ooh, that's a pair. Come on, you. Are you broken? It's got these weird, like, little plastic S's, which are quite groovy. Oh, I think there must be like a hair thing in here that's doing this. It is indeed. Oh, you utter bastard. Don't put hair grips in job lots. I mean, I'm putting it into a broken job lot, but that's different. Oh, that's silver. I suppose that sometimes is the bonus of putting them in, is that people can't be bothered to detangle and get the little nice silver pendant out which has got a weird stone at the bottom there and then an amethyst but a bit of silver nonetheless so it's kind of worth having this god awful hair thing in here if it meant i had a little bit of silver in it and try and get the rest off of it Bloody tiaras. I mean, if it were made of gold, I wouldn't mind. Come on now, unhook. And you unhook. And you get off there. Like so. in the other room is going like you're having stuff delivered today that's jolly good 
hopefully a book, I think. Oh, that might come tomorrow. I've ordered a book about Fabergé because I really want to go to the Fabergé, Fabergé exhibition in London. So much so that I've signed up to the V&A to be a member for the year. Oh, it's a necklace. Okay, I can slightly forgive them for putting it in because it is a necklace and it's got pretty butterflies and stuff. It's not that bad. I'm going to put it in two kilo lot. But yeah, so I've signed up for a year to the V&A because I'm more likely to get tickets that way than just leaving it up to general public sale. But I really want to go see it. Before the Russians ask for it back. Or demand it back. Okay, all of these can go in the two kilos. I think all of this, let's have a little look at. What's that? Some faux pills on there, nothing exciting, I think. Might be a silver clasp, but all of these going in there. Bracelets. You're a bit outstretched. Let go now. Let go. And it's broken anyway, that one. And we'll cut you out with it. There's a little gold colored clasp, but I don't think it is anything. Can't see any marks. The clasp is magnetic, which it normally is, I think. Yeah, it's magnetic. Well, there we go. I'll put that in with vintage art. Might be able to find a pendant to put on it. Feels not quite ready to come out just yet. Wrong bag. Little Matriosa. Which I quite like. Anyway. Aww. Russian doll. No marks on it, it'll go in two kilos. Right, were well you a pair? You are a pair indeed, so you can go in. There we go. It's all these spiral things. A little bit of ethnic jewellery. Sometimes they put like a 925 on the clasp there and make out that it's silver, but it's not, unfortunately. What's this little thing? It's got, a, it's got some weird charms on it, a boat and an ice skate. But I don't think it's from Accessorize. I just want this one to come out now. Come on. Yay. So groovy vintage necklace there. Possibly like 1970s. I quite like that. I shall sell that one. Mm, what's this little sparkly? This is quite nice. Got a nice clasp on it. Feels like good quality. It's got an unusual little very dainty clasp. I wonder if that's and hallmark there. Um, well, loop. No, I think it's just pinched. Something on the back here. Oh, 
There is a mark, but I mean, I, I don't think it's gold. I think it's probably gold plated, but I will put it aside and test it. Quite a pretty dainty little thing anyway. Keep that aside because you never know. There's some more of these for my little lot, unless of course any of them are not silver or named ones, but no, I don't think so. So they'll go in a European charm lot. Little oh, sparkly full pearl pendant. I'll take the earrings out. That can go in two kilo, that's a bit of a beast. And that, and that. Come on, full pearls, there we go. So they can go in the full pearly lot. Chain. Oh yeah, that totally works. There we go. And am I going to bother getting anything out of here? I don't think so. I think that's a couple of necklaces all attached together. Are you silver? Little butterfly, no, I don't think so. And an earring and a bit of scrap. And I think all of this is going to go into the two kilo lot because I'm not going to untangle it. I can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do one last bag because otherwise this video is going to go on forever. Two kilo. I'm gonna need another bag for two kilos myself. Oh. <laughs> A bit of Vivian Westwood apparently. Apparently. We'll see. Now a lot of Vivian Westwood is costume and so it won't have hallmarks on it and so it is quite easy. Unfortunately, for people to um, counterfeit, but I don't think that is because it doesn't have a groovy clasp that I can see, and it's broken anyway. So that I'll probably put in the faux pearl lot once I can excavate it from all of this little charmy bracelet with some weirdy bits on it. Right, I need one more like big necklace or something to put in there. And a little dolphin abalone. I'll put that in there actually. Come on, one more necklace. To just, ugh, you. Come on, you. Come on. And then that's that two kilo lot then. There we go. Yep, perfect. Well, oh, I'm glad you know. Okay, I'll find another bag. What's the matter, Mummy? There are a lot of miserable buggers in this world. There are indeed. I wonder if that's silver. I might Titus, test that. Bloody badges bums. Titus badges bums? Yes. Who are? People, especially Londoners. I don't know what's the matter with them. Londoners? Londoners? Why? Why? You sound like you're from London. Goodness, I'm not. Miserable bastards. <laughs> Anyways, right. 
Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Now, let's try and detangle some of this. Um, would I sell that? That's quite nice. It's quite nice. Not named or anything. You will go in two kilos. I can imagine myself putting nearly all of this in two kilos. I'm just looking for a something something to make it work. you chopping up there mum the bottoms of the daffodils oh mummy bought some daffodils they're nice oh St David's Day tomorrow oh they're pretty lovely stuff nice. I've got some Indian wedding jewellery I've got um, an Indian wedding jewellery Lot, so I can add that to that. Hmm. Now they are European charms, but it's attached to this one. I can't be bothered in doing it. <laughs> Some abalone beads going in there. The talk bangle, obviously not gold, but I was just hoping there might be some kind of maker on it, but no. I think all of this is going to go into craft. All of these plasticky ones. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. And this neon lot. And there's an earring that's been a feather in there. Come on, let go. And a multi strand cordy thing that are evil. I don't know why they make them. It looks like cherries. Need a wee, need a wee. There's a platform nine and three quarters. I can see that. What's that? There's some kind of Harry Potter necklace. It's also got a love potion on it. I have to come back to that because it's attached to all sorts. And then this necklace is broken. Getting the beads out of the way. What's this thing with the hearts on me? as well so we've got that unusual one and a sparkly heart one but they're going in two kilos that one's going in no oh, no wrong bag this is the two kilo bag <gasps> that's quite nice i had a bracelet like that before like feathers and stuff Quite like that. I might sell that one if it's unusual. Right. Now we'll come back to you. Okay, we've got some earrings and a necklace, and it's all attached in there. Ugh. And you're all attached in there. I'll put these in pearly lock. And get that Harry Potter one out. There's Marks and Spencer's necklace. There's a magnetic bubble. That's what's causing some of the problems. Some more kitty. And oh, I'm just going to put all of that in two kilos. Someone can have the Harry Potter necklace. I don't want it. Put one of that in broken. Put one of this in broken. It's going to sound like you're always doing washing up, Mum. But that's pretty near. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's going to make it sound like I don't do the washing up. Actually, that's kind of true. <laughs> 
You did last night. I did. There's a sound of crackling and taps going on. What is that? What string? is that noise? What is that string? How noise? peculiar. That's cool. That seems to have some kind of. That's the front, and then it's got some weird marks on the back. I think it's silver, but I don't know what the weird marks mean. Have a look. Oh, you won't be able to see it. No, it's tiny. I can't see that. No. 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 Get your eyes fixed soon. Yes, get them fixed. That's bloody fixed. Yep. Take them out, give them a quick polish, put them back in. Mm. Yeah, I can't be bothered detangling all that, so that's just going in two kilos. Pendant. And I need to separate out this faux westwood to put in the pearly log. Go. Oh, that's all about. That's broken anyway. But is that silver? No. Little flower. Pearls from there. Do you know what? We're just going to quickly do. I think quickly do this last bag. It seems silly to not do it. We've come so far. Ooh. All right. There's some chunky melanches in here. Oh, look at those vintage beads. I put them in a lot. Oh, pearls. Let go. I said let go. Don't be a bugger. I'm just going to cut you out. and then some CD ones and um, yeah they're all going in broken even though they're not some nice well I thought they were going to be glass but they're not they're plastic but they'll go in there some rhinestones but they're not vintage punky pins what are you? That's a nice vintage choker. Bit unusual with the beads. Quite like that. What are you by Ammonite? Ammonite. So that'll go in my European charm lot. That'll go in my vintage lot, but I have a suspicion that that might be Au soleil, but it doesn't say made in France. And the beads are a little bit knackered on it, but... Oh dear God. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's a whole heap of bastard. You've got a tangle on it. Oh, mother, look at it. Yeah. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. I'm going to put yeah. that just one side yeah. for the moment. Put that one there. Little painted shell one. Right. Well, that's one of them that looks like one that's from there. Doesn't say who it's by. It's kind of like cool and gothy and stuff, but I'm not going to sell it. I already hate it. <laughs> Who's this by? Oh, little Macmillan. One. I've got a little kitty cat, a little stretching kitty cat. A little stretchy, sparkly kitty cat. But that's going in there. <coughs> the brass bangle. That's quite nice. Got lots of lovely, sparkly, crystally stones. Looks handmade. Little brooch that'll probably go into a vintage lot, I should imagine. And pearls, kitty stuff. Come on, earring, get 
vamos. New color then. Oof. God knows. Very rusty and old. That's got some nice beads on it, possibly some lapis and some hematite on there. Little pendant. Another brass bangle. They can go together. Lots of jangly hearts. I could probably sell that one, but can't be asked. And yeah, that's got all its bits. These are going in broken. Right. So over here. What's that? That looks a bit like. Is that silver or stainless steel? Possibly silver, but I can't see any marks. That's weird anyway. A bit of rubber. Bizarre. Another little goldy looking chain. It's got a mark on it. Okay, it's got a hallmark mark on it. Shut up. Right, it says 375. And it's got a full UK hallmark mark on it. Jesus. No. Maybe. I'll come back to that. We'll do our testing in a bit and come back. Because if that is, then that's... It's quite heavy. Hmm. Get rid of these plastic ones. There's some nice glass beads here. These look... These are vintage Art Deco. Got a brass and glass. It's just come loose at the end there, which is a real shame. I'll put them in broken. Someone can do something lovely with them because there's some nice beads there. Ooh, I'm a little bit excited. I just want to rush through this last bit now, but you know, don't, uh, don't count chickens before they've turned into cluckers. It's a heavy chain. Who are you, boy? Something one. Direction one, rather than one direction. That's going to annoy me. I'm going to put that in there. It's going to annoy me for Google purposes. I'm going to try and find a Direction 1 necklace and it not come up with pictures of them. Them in twonks. There we are. Right. Plastic set out. And plastics get out. Right. So, I've got to put some more in this two kilo lot. Like this. It says love, love, what's love got to do? That's that punky pins one off, yeah, punky pins. So that can go in. We've got some Eloxal steel, vintage necklace. If you come out now, I'll put you in the vintage lot. Go on, go on. There we go. Can go in vintage lot. Can go in there. Take them with you. Got some uh, rose quartz and hematite going in there. Uh, some turquoise and hematite and some purple and full pearls going in there. And it just needs a couple more things to take it to weight. And there we go. And now we're on to the exciting bit of testing things. Woo! In it, mum. Mm -hmm. This is where we get all science and shit. I love the science bit. It's my favourite. Right. So we're testing that, that and that for gold. And then some of these bits don't really need to test because they say that they're silver on it. And I believe them. But some of them, I'll test that. I'll test that. And the rest are actually silver, so that's groovy. So we'll test for silver first. So there's this 
nice little bangle, but it's got some green on it, you see, but you never know. Actually, I can see some copper coming through, so yeah, not silver, unfortunately. But this, I think, is it's definitely scratching like silver. And yep, it's turning bright red on the actual silver bit. You see bright red. And if you dab it off just lightly, it leaves a bright red bit on there until you obviously you clean it off. Um, so there we go, that is silver. Now let's test these bits. So I don't see any marks on there, that's probably plated. But I'll test the actual earring and the post. Five, four, three, yep, and they've all disappeared. So that earring wasn't gold. I don't expect, what's, what are you? Are you a bit of silver? Are you randomly there? No. Um, I don't expect this bit to be gold, but there is a mark on it, so we'll try it. I'm just going to do the clasp. Five, four, three, two, and that's disappeared already. So no, but it is still pretty and it is still marked. So I might sell that because it's it's cute. And then this that says that it's nine carat gold. It's very yellow for nine gold. But that doesn't mean that it's not right. I'll do the clasp. I'll do the chain and I'll do these little endy bits. One, two, three, five, four, three, two, one. It's still there. It's still brightly there. I'm going to test for a higher carrot. Right, and on this one, I'm looking to see for when it bubbles. Okay, it took a while to bubble. I think, I not only think that that's gold, I think it's a higher carat gold than what it says on its little clasp there, quite possibly. How much does it weigh? It's only just disintegrating now. Oh, blimey. And it got away. Fuck me, 26 grams. Nearly 27. Jesus. Okay. Um, so I'll leave it on that. Um, uh, cause wow, cause that yowza. And that pays, um, pays for the lot. So that's awesome. Sorry for my swearing by the way, but you know, <laughs> reactions and stuff. Um, yeah, definitely not nine carat cause it's just not, it's too bright for nine carat. So I will take that to my jeweller at some point and see what they say. But yeah, blimey, that's pretty cool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed and um, I shall see you all again soon. Bye-bye now, bye-bye.